do that one again. <laughs> okay, salam alaikum, brother. How are you? I am good, man. I am good. I'm happy to see you. Uh, I didn't realize how, how much I missed you until I saw you. So that's, I that's a good sign. It's been a really long time ever since we talked. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So we're going to keep this one short and sweet, like I said. I just want to go into the first question. Um, so why don't you just give us a kind of, a, you know, behind the scenes, what it was like prior to our first call? How was your life? What were your kind of struggles? What did you want to do and achieve? And, you know, you also revert like me. Yeah, so yeah. A little bit of that as well would be cool. Yeah, so it's almost a year ago about at this point. I had just reverted maybe a few months before. I was at the heaviest I had ever been. Mm -hmm. um, but I had been working at the same job for a long time. I had recently gotten promoted. Um, it was a little bit more stressful. So I put on, I don't know, like 30-ish pounds within a few months. Um, mm -hmm. And I was sluggish. I was still kind of bored. I was getting used to my new position. Um, not getting very much exercise and not, you know, knowing where to fit it in or really to diet either. Um, and I had just mm. promoted, so I was the only revert, the only one in my family and really in my group of friends. I live in Chicago, so it's not like wow. too hard to be different here. It's just there's not a lot of other brothers in my office, although I have found a couple now. I've made a couple of good friends. Um, yeah, so I was a little bit lonely, a little out of shape, mm -hmm. um, feeling a little bit down. Um, yeah, so that's about where I was when we first met. Yeah, no, I remember we, in our first call, like all of this, these memories coming back, you know, uh, but you mentioned it, like, with the office job, you know, obviously it's a very sedentary lifestyle, right? Yeah. And you mentioned, um, if I remember correctly, like, you went always out with your brother, had these steaks and, and burgers, and you know. Yes. Yeah, my right? brother does <laughs> a lot. Um, and he goes yeah. well. I did not get the cooking, food, but he goes really well. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, you, can, you cannot have all the all the genes, right? So you need yeah. to <laughs> split it up in the family. You better look. No, that's <laughs> amazing. Yeah. No, and I remember, like, you were also like, and when it comes to like this Islamic journey, you were. Just like I think in the like beginning stage of praying, right? Like, yeah. Learning yeah. the prayer. I couldn't, I couldn't recite any of the salah just by myself from memory. I always used a YouTube video. Um mm. but I think I had said that at the beginning of the year my goal was to be able to do it like unassisted and I can now, which is awesome. pretty good. I'm kinda of proud of it. Um Yeah. You didn't do that uh, I, when I when I started to pray. I had this kind of cheap paper or what you call it, like, you know, with mm -hmm. all the movements and what to say. <laughs> so I always had it like this, you know? <laughs> yeah. So no, I always used, it was the same YouTube video or it was like a series of them. Um, mm. Brother in Australia, I think had made them. Um, but mm. no, I used those every time I prayed for almost a year. It wasn't until like fairly recently that, um, well, maybe it was at the beginning of Ramadan this year. I started going to uh, masjid near my office during the week um, for prayer and for dua in silence. <laughs> I couldn't just like pretend yeah. to follow along. I like, knew when I had to go into the Jude and all that stuff. Like I could, I could follow along. I'm pretty good. Um, but you know, you have to recite it silently. So I had to learn quickly, and I did. Um, so nice. I can do it mostly from memory. It might be wrong. <laughs> like, I don't have anyone around to correct me, but. Yeah, but look, like it's you're new, and 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 Allah doesn't put you to account to what you don't know, right? And especially if you try your best, like if you're really trying to learn and do stuff, you're gonna do mistakes. Like even even like if you see in the Quran, like you, you can read some some uh, uh, chapters mm -hmm. where the Prophet, uh, peace be and blessings be upon him, he did something he thought was right, something like it was a new thing, right? He didn't get the revelation just just yet, so mm -hmm. he, he did something and then he was corrected. So you see, like if he got yeah. corrected and he tried to do his best, well, what about us, right? 
so it's all good you know inshallah yeah. Uh, but let's 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 go into the the sweet stuff, you know. And I have no idea what you're gonna say. So this is gonna be like a surprise. Me. <laughs> okay. Uh, so when we got to onto the first call, you sat in the office. I remember we set up, you know, the goals and the program and stuff. So how? Okay. So like a brief walkthrough. Like how did it go? What was the challenges? What was the result you got? Uh, you know, some some of that. Mm -hmm. So I think when we first started, I was like pretty ambitious. Um, I had just started a new job, so like I wasn't in the swing of it. Um, but a lot of the challenges at first revolved around changing my diet because I had been skinny most of my life, um, like very skinny. And I could eat whatever I wanted whenever I wanted to. Like diet was not really ever an issue for me. Um, so one of the bigger surprises was like how much attention I actually had to pay to not continuing to snack and eat mostly junk food whenever I wanted to. Um, mm -hmm. And I had taken on a lot of challenges all at one time. So I got a little bit overwhelmed towards the beginning, trying to fit in, changing my diet, um, adapting to a new religion and a new lifestyle just in general. Um, and then also trying to like find time to work out, um, it seemed to be a lot. So it, actually, I think the workouts were like kind of the first thing that I really struggled with, um, and kind of fell off. Mm -hmm. Um, but then I did start paying more attention to my diet, which is actually how I was able to lose a fair amount of weight. I think I probably lost about 25 pounds. I think when we first met, I was hovering around like 220 pounds or something like that. I'm hovering around mm. like 195 now, I think. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Much no, I said that when we jumped on the call. I was like, man, you, you lost weight. <laughs> you know, that's a line, the good way. Thank um, you. I love that. So it's really good. And, and it was like, just we have like kind of the, the uh, what you call it, like the time frame as well. So mm -hmm. it's like under a period of, was it three months? With something like that? Or was it the, the 25? <laughs> So I've been doing the program for, I think our first meeting was around January, so about six months now. Um, yeah. Or maybe it was before Christmas even, because I don't think I had gone through a Christmas before, because um, I remember asking you how to like navigate parts of it. Um, so it was right around Christmas, yes. so it was about six months ago. Nice. Yeah. So that you hit that 195 um was it recently or how long time did it yeah, took for you to pretty recently. Maybe I got down to 195 a couple of weeks ago. Um, nice. Yeah. Mashallah. So it's really interesting because you, you're mentioning like, I think this is important because people might, uh, what you call it, <clears throat> what's the word, like, be like beautify or, or what you call it, like romantic. Um, uh, yeah, beautify the journey. Like thinking of, oh, it's gonna be like a, if I, it's like point A to point B, just gonna be, you know, no issues at all, no, you know, mistakes. But especially making like a big change, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to your health or lifestyle, you are bound to make a lot of mistakes. Right. Like there's yeah. gonna be a lot of up and downs. And I think it's important that you say, like, it's it's that you emphasize on that. Like, despite those challenges you had. Right, you were able to push through, like, and have that the the suffer, the the patient, you know, going through that as well, right? Um, and that's amazing. I think that's really important. I think people gotta learn more about having patience and focus on the process, and not only like, sure, the destination is important, but I think falling falling in love with the process is more. Important, yeah, right? yeah, no, I agree. I definitely had to adjust my expectations mostly of myself um because i think at the beginning i was like yeah i can do everything all at once um <laughs> yeah so but hard. that was not the case um which ended up being fine and actually i think a couple of weeks ago i've started again trying to get into a better gym routine um mostly because i lost some weight but i'm naturally like a very thin person i'm not like naturally bulky really at all um yeah so like, a little deflated so i've been trying to work out again too uh, my time. 
which has been easier. I'm kind of like into a better groove at work. Um, or at least mm. better. I understand the cycle better. So I know like where I actually have time and how much I can do each day. That's awesome. And yeah, like, obviously like just focusing on a new routine takes time. And now you have like five new routines going on. So I understand like yeah. it was very, it was very difficult to, to jump on all of those things at once. How is it now? Like, do you do like, have you gotten into a workout routine a little bit better now or like? It's still fairly sporadic. So I do mostly the days I work from home and over the weekend. So there's like four days where I'm at home most of the time and I can squeeze it in where I have time. Cause I don't usually mm. have like that schedule of meetings. Like I just, they show up on my calendar and I usually just have to accept, have to, or <laughs> to accept them. Um, so like I have this and then actually in about eight minutes, I have another meeting. Um, so the work ebbs and flows. Mm -hmm. I still try to get it in when I have time. Um, yeah. But once you start making it a priority, it's easier to make it a priority on days where it might be more difficult to fit it in. Right. And it's like the prayer, isn't it? Like, as long as you can make it consistent, it doesn't yeah. have to be perfect. Like you went to Duhur during office time. That prayer probably wasn't the perfect, most perfect prayer of all time. But it yeah. was consistent. Right. And that made you become better at the prayer. And I think that's the lesson we got to learn. Be consistent. Even there's a beautiful hadith about it, that Allah loves the most, like the most beloved actions and deeds to Allah, those that are done regularly, even if they're few. So it's not, you, you're not going to be asked about, oh, wait, Colton, you just read one page of the Quran every day. Why didn't you read two? No, you're going to be asked about, oh, wait, you read the Quran for a week and then you left it. Why did you do that? Did you, why did you leave it? Like, why did you do that? Why didn't you continue? Yeah. That's the question you're going to be asked. So if you can apply that, imagine on everything you want in life and see that change, like your life will change <laughs> inevitably, right? So give us some, some famous last words, <laughs> what you call it, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, like my famous last bit of advice, I guess would be not to give up on yourself. Um, like things are going to be challenging and they might be more challenging than you anticipate in the beginning. Um, and things might not go the way you planned, or they might not feel the way you had anticipated them to feel as you're doing them, but like, don't give up on it. Like maybe put something on the shelf for a couple of days until you can come back to it, but like keep the goal there and adjust to what you can adjust and like work on your own time. Like you might not be able to take on like a new religion, a new diet, a new job and like a new workout routine all at the same time. But like you can start bit by bit. And then once you're comfortable again, you can add something else in um, and then just keep adding things until you're at your limit. Um, like, I think I'm about to add another piece. I'm getting comfortable in my job, so I think I'm going to go back to school again. Um, okay, so, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah, I'll be able to do all of it. But, yeah, so as long as you just have to, like, back up a little bit, take a piece out, and then add it back in when you're comfortable again. Mashallah. I love that. That, that was really, like, good, famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. Thank you. And like I said in the beginning, we, we, we're keeping it short and sweet here. And I think that's, I, I like it. I like the, the little discussion we had and hopefully it can be inspiring for people listening. And maybe, you know, you never know, like there can be actually someone that sees this and is actually where you were and feeling this old, like feeling of being overwhelmed, like millions of things. And I think that piece of advice, like even that hit me, you know, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to listen to that advice. Take it to heart. Take it to heart. Mashallah. No, I, I, I have nothing else to add. To be honest, I don't want to make this. I, I want to leave it at the top. You know, I don't want to make it worse. <laughs> you know? yeah, cool. um, do you have anything last you want to add, or you feel? You feel I, no, I, to tell you that, like, I appreciate you a lot. So, like I, when I first reverted, I didn't have like anyone to, like ask like in person in real life. Honestly, so it was, mm -hmm. I appreciate mm -hmm. having you as like a resource and someone to talk to and ask advice of because, you know, I didn't really that. <laughs> No, Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, we will keep in touch, like always, like 
no, we're brothers sure. in the religion and we you know we in this dunya together we're gonna be in jannah together inshallah we'll have the best time of our lives <laughs> inshallah <laughs> and all for all the people also watching you know. so yeah let's leave it at that absolutely Assalamualaikum, brother. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.